What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. And this news is very, very interesting. I mean, it is it is pretty big news. I think it's pretty interesting. You guys are going to kick get a kick out of it. Let's go ahead and dive in. Guys, this is coming from not only Chick Foley. Chick Foley posted this on Twitter. I believe they got this from a specific online retailer that sells WWE action figures. And we're going to pull it up right here, guys. You will see on the screen it says WWE Ultimate Fiend. And then and underneath that, it says WWE Ultimate Hulk Hogan. So this tells me that the series that features Hulk Hogan as the Ultimate Edition, the other side of that Ultimate Edition, you know, we've been speculating. We know that every other, not every other, but every of Ultimate Edition series does feature one former Hall of Fame legendary style wrestler and then a current big time, you know, superstar wrestler that is in today's current product. And we do know that Becky Lynch and John Cena are coming, The Rock and Charlotte Flair are coming, and it looks like the series after that is going to be The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan that we've seen before in the render images with Hollywood Hulk Hogan. So this could be the best series of Ultimate Editions that we've seen. You know, nothing is confirmed yet. This is just simply from an online retailer. They could be wrong about it, but it looks like this could be true or that it's more than likely true. Probably 95%, I would say, that this is it's everything but confirmed at this point. So take it with what you will, you know, whatever your own personal thoughts and opinions are on how legitimate it is. But I wanted to put this up to you guys because, first of all, I wanted to show it to you. Second of all, I wanted to discuss what the Fiend could come with and how he will be featured featured in the Ultimate Edition line. We obviously just got our Elite 77 Bray Wyatt's, our Fiend Bray Wyatt's that are really beautiful. If you have that figure, you know how great it is. It's going to be at the top of everyone's list, but how much better could that figure be if it has double jointed arms, if it has, you know, interchangeable head sculpts or something like that? I think that we have some pretty cool ideas right here, and let's go ahead and dive in. I think that something that is a must with this figure is it's going to come with a jacket. Now, this is where things get interesting. Is it going to be a cloth type coat like we've seen with Elite 2 Matt Hardy? Is it going to be a cloth type coat that we got with Aiden English? Is it going to be the Defining Moment Sting style where it's cloth? Or is it going to be interchangeable like we saw with Ronda Rousey, like we're getting with Becky Lynch, like we saw with Bret Hart, like we saw with Shinsuke Nakamura? That is probably the side that I'm leaning towards. I would imagine it would probably be a soft rubber material and he would have inner, he would have like the vest cover that would go over the torso and then you could interchange the shoulders and arms to have double jointed jacket arms is what I would, you know, guess because that seems to be the theme behind the Ultimate Editions is they like to have the interchangeable entrance gear as part of the figure like we've seen so many times in the past with all of the different Ultimate Editions. But another thing I could say is that the Ultimate Edition Finn Balor had a cloth robe, you know, the little cloth robe from uh, the Finn Balor that we got. The Ultimate Edition Finn Balor had a cloth little robe thing that went across his waist. Another cloth figure that we got was Brock Lesnar. He had, of course, the cloth shirt, the sleeveless suplex city shirt. And then the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels had a cloth, you know, the cloths mixed together with rubber on his, on his pants and, of course, with his entrance gear on that figure. So it's all up in the air. And, oh, oh, oh yeah, we can't forget the Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior also had a cloth cloth robe that was super nice. So they could go about it two different ways. We don't know which ones they're going to come with, but you know the jacket is a must for the Bray Wyatt Ultimate Fiend Edition figure. And the only thing that I would also add is that I'm sure that it will, of course, come with probably two or three interchangeable pairs of hands. I would guess Mike holding hands, the same hurt and heel hands that we got with the figure out of the packaging. I would say mandible claw hands, but that's pretty much a Mike holding hand unless they want to do some signature thing. And then maybe, I, I don't know, we'll just have to see. I, I guess you could do fists if you wanted fists are kind of boring for me unless it's like a specific guy like Roman Reigns or something or Brock Lesnar you know guys like that but Fiend figure could come with uh, fists it could come with mic holding hands the same hands we got with the Elite 77 and another thing that I think it could include I don't know if it's going to include the head lantern I, you, you would figure that would have come with the head lantern because the Elite 77 did and that could be something they could just plug in it may come with the Blue Universal Championship something that we have not seen with a Mattel figure just yet could come with that and another thing that it could come with is the custom Fiend Championship that he was rocking when he was the Universal Champion. You guys know that big, ugly Fiend Bray Wyatt belt. I think that we could get that in figure form to come with the Bray Wyatt Fiend figure, and that would pretty much complete it. I'm trying to pull up accessories here so that I can see exactly what all the other Ultimate Editions came with. Let me go ahead and pull this ish up so that we can look at other Ultimate Edition figures and see what all they came with, because it seems like, you know, we get a pretty good amount of stuff, and for some reason it brought up the Ultimate Deletion. Let me, I said Edition, you 
stupid hoe. And here we go. So Triple H came with the belt and the sledgehammer and the entrance gear. Uh, Finn Balor came with the two interchangeable head sculpts. I mean, it seems that we're going to get some interchangeable head sculpts, but I feel like that won't happen with the Ultimate Edition Fiend because he makes the same face every time. You know, he's wearing a mask, so you really can't do anything else. I guess that will be very interesting to see, but I think every Ultimate Edition has come with two or three interchangeable head sculpts, and I think that will change with the Fiend figure. I think we'll probably get more accessories over more head sculpts and stuff like that, so I think that we could get... Uh, everything. We could get the jacket. We could get the, you know, the Fiend Championship and possibly the Lantern. We'll just have to see about that, but I think that is all I had to show you guys because I did not have any other news, but I thought this was pretty newsworthy. I wanted to put this up to you guys, see what you guys thought about an Ultimate Edition Fiend figure. See what your guys, ex see what you guys thought about it, and I would love to know what you guys would want the Ultimate Edition Fiend figure to come with if you were, to, or if this is confirmed. What would you guys want the Fiend to come with if you were creating it? You let me know down below. Let me know everything to do with it, but I think it's easy to say that this is probably the best Ultimate Edition series. Even though I like 3, 4, and 5, I think 3, 4, and 5 were pretty good, but it looks like this could be potentially Ultimate Edition Series 7 after The Rock and Charlotte Flair, and this could be the best of all time, especially with two big-time figures that are so sought after. This could be legendary by Mattel, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. I'm supposed to have another video going up, but I'm waiting for some stuff to clear out. It's already ready to post. I'm just waiting on a couple things before it goes live, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think of the Ultimate Edition Fiend figure down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.